师傅好，同学好。So last session we talked about fourth generation Dao Xin come by the、uh, come by the kid. Okay, actually the the kid was the the fifth generation their master Hong Ren. Yeah, we talked about the uh, uh, the story. The story, the 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 dialogue between the Dao Xin and the Hong Ren. This one, this session, we talked about the dialogue between the Hong Ren and his disciple, sixth generation Zen master Hui Nan. I believe all of you already know about this story. Yeah, but、uh, we want to say it again. Because in the last session, I、uh, saw some of you actually was struggling with the your pains, distractions, your thought feelings, and the others. Yeah, you try very hard to to manage yourself sitting on the cushion.、Mm. However, no matter how how hard you try, okay, how hard you try. If you have no idea your true nature, okay, just invent. Why I say that? Okay, why I say that? Because once upon a time, the fifth generation, then the 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 master Hong Ren, all of you already know this story. He said, "There will be no benefit if you learn the Dharma." Okay, but yet. You don't know your original mind, okay? So, so there's no benefit if you know the you the practice of meditation. But if you know idea, but if you know idea, your original mind, there's no benefit. Okay, this the this why I was talking about this. So, no matter how much how much pain you endure in meditations, so how many sessions you endure. There's no benefit until you realize your true nature, right? So, and the Hong Ren also also said, okay, those who know those who know that the, the self mind origin actually original mind see the self nature are called real man. Teachers for the real, the realms of the heavens and this world, O Buddhas. Okay, no, sorry, no discrimination. Okay, in the in in old days, the, almost all the Zen practitioners are are, the, are male. <laughs> are male. Sorry. Okay, the, the old days. But now we know we have a lot of the, we have a lot of the, the female practitioners now. Okay, we also expect in the future, there will the, the, there will be more and more, the, more and more women become the Buddhas. Okay, we, we I I truly believe in that.、Mm -hmm. So no this no, no discrimination. Okay, so don't worry about it. Okay. I also expect that maybe or the next Zen master will be the, the female. <laughs> so that's a, that's what the, the fifth generation Hong Ren say. Okay, yes, the only way the the only way that you that to make the、uh, make sense of your meditation is to realize your true nature. This only way. This only way, nothing else. Okay. Only if you realize your self nature, you can call yourself a real Zen practitioner. Real Zen practitioner, and then you can also call yourself self the Buddhas teachers. Okay. Yes, some of you I know you study to、uh, give instruction to new、uh, to the, the newcomers students. But、uh, you have to you have to、uh, bear it in mind. Is is if you still have no idea your true nature, okay? So you didn't finish you you didn't finish you didn't finish yet. 
Okay, you should still have the working on it. We know the fourth generation, the, the master Dao Xin, mm, Dao Xin met uh, Hong Ren, the kid. Mm. And the kid the, was, was so, mm, so clever, so the, mm, brilliant. Yeah, he uh, the Hong Ren, the Hong Ren, the, when the Dao Xin asked the kid, the Zen master asked the kid, okay, uh, what's your family name? The kid answers, can answer, so I have a very unusual family name. Do you remember the last session, right? Mm -hmm. Yeah. And uh, the kids continue to say, yes, I, the, my family name my family actually is a Buddha, Buddha nature. Because in Chinese pronunciation, Buddha's nature, Buddha's nature and family name, okay, they have the same pronunciation, Xin. Okay. So the kids, the, the kids say, yes, I have the, um, uh, uh, the, my, the I have the Buddha's, uh, I have the Buddha nature. Mm -hmm. So Zen master asked the kid, oh, so you don't have, you don't have this, you don't have a self nature. Why? Because the self nature is no self. Remember? Because the self nature is no self. So, you know, when the fifth generation Zen master Hereby say, yes, there's no benefit if you learn the Dharma, yet don't know the, your the original mind. Okay. So actually they are talking about you didn't real if you didn't realize, you didn't realize of you, the self is no self. The self is no self. Actually, there's no benefit. That's why. We ask you to, 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 to practice stop the meditation using, using the, uh, the question, what's the no self? Yes, uh, some of uh, us, some, uh, some Zen master did uh, give the different, uh, different uh, questions to the, uh, to the Zen practitioner, to students, okay, the other questions. But, but actually, for well, all of these questions pointed to the, the same. The same, the same self nature, which is no self. Mm -hmm. Which is no self. Remember, the kid said, "I." The, the kid said, "Okay, I have the, the I have the Buddha nature." And the Zen master uh, okay, uh, uh, say, "Oh, you don't you don't have a self nature. Mm -hmm. You don't have a self nature. So to don't you have to remember that." Yeah. So here, here you have to remember, okay, you keep you continue to practice and asking what's a no self. Sometimes probably the question is quite boring. Am I right? <laughs> Don't tell me you didn't feel boring. <laughs> Don't tell me you didn't feel boring, okay? But you have to know there's all no other way because we, as a Zen practitioner, okay, we we used to have we have the hypothesis, hypothesis. We have hypothesis, but we don't believe the in hypothesis. We have the validated the hypothesis. Okay, it's, it's our self nature, our self nature. It's empty. It's no self, but we have a validated, which means that we have the challenge. It's a hypothesis to see if this hypothesis is wrong. It's a hypothesis is that if we we that we can to challenge this hypothesis. So you don't have to believe in me. We have to try it yourself. So don't believe in this hypothesis. Don't believe it in the self is no self. Try your best. 
prove me wrong, please. Try your, to try your best to prove, prove me wrong. Okay. But you have to follow the same scientific process, the same as what the, all the ancient, uh, ancients that the Zen master did. They follow the same, the same, the same process. They just focus on, focus on single point, single sentence. Okay, not drifted away. You have to follow this process. So don't believe in the self is no self. You have to challenge it. Remember it, it's very important. If you just believe in what you read, okay, this is, this is totally wrong. It's not, it is not, it's not a Zen meditation. Okay, and it's not even our teaching. We didn't ask you to believe in anything. We ask you to rest the question and inquire into yourself and prove it and prove it. Is, is it myself? Is it myself? No self? Is it, my, is it myself, no self? Do you get a point? Do you get a point? Okay, great. Okay, so the, this is start meditate. Okay, thank you. Thank you, Master. Thank you, Master.